Hey everyone, welcome to En Wasada Pero Motivada. Um, I'm Vanessa, and this wasn't supposed to become any type of podcast. I don't know what happened, but like last minute I decided I'm gonna just talk because let's be honest, I I think it just talking into a mic is just so much quicker than anything. It's like the most or the least tedious task. Like I literally could just um put it over a picture and I'm done. Slap it on and upload. And honestly that's just easier for me. Um but yeah, this is in Wasada Pero Motivada. And if you understand Nayeri slang, then you would know that in Wasada or in Wasado or in Wase, um you know that just means like it, uh, it it let me let me use it in a sentence first and hopefully um you'll understand but basically um it's like when somebody tells you like oh are you going to be able to go uh to my party and you respond like no voy a poder ir ando bien en wasado tengo tantas cosas que hacer ni sé de dónde empezar like you just have so much to do um, you have so many tasks and like you just are being overwhelmed by the amount of things you have to do, the amount of things that are being just that are in in your way. So I feel like that's a very um, it's like a very me thing to be in Wasada, like constantly like it's 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 me, it's me it me <laughs> and so like that's that's one of the reasons why this is called en wasada pero motivada because despite being en wasada um or are interesting enough being en wasada is what stresses me out but is also what keeps me going like the the adrenaline of it and so this this um the situation of being siempre en wasada, um, pero motivada is like what it comes to mean to me is like I have this lifelong, I've had this lifelong curiosity for um, what comes next, what's the new thing, what's the new thing, what's the new thing, what's the next thing, what's the next thing, and who am I, who am I, who am I, <laughs> and I think um, it's helped me and limited me, but you know, um, in the sense of today, I want to talk about how like it can be both can both be a limiter and a motivator but for today the topic is my ADHD diagnosis and I want to say like that I'm not at all like gonna tell you if you have ADHD or not or if I'm not here to prove if I have ADHD or not um it's mostly just to talk about like my journey to getting a diagnosis and then how I knew before being diagnosed like what that if that I had ADHD and then like like what are my next steps and then um hopefully I can provide some resources and then um that'll be basically it but um so that that's that's my intent and the reason that I want to do this is because I feel like ADHD is seen as just like oh no my child is or this person is just active and but it but it's so much more than that it's 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 so much more than that and I feel like people who have ADHD diagnosed and undiagnosed are struggling and I think it's really important for us to validate that <clears throat> so I'm going to talk a little bit about my journey to it and I'll just be very brief because that's not the, not the, I, I really would just want to get to the point. Um, so when I was in college, 2016, I had one session. I said, nah, can't do this right now. Don't have the bandwidth. When I came back um, and I had a job, a steady job, I decided to start going to, um, to, to therapy uh, for reals, for reals. And this was during 2017 to 2019. Um, it was here that I got medication to be able to, you know, control my anxiety and depression. 
and it was definitely a whirlwind because getting um getting used to medication is 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 a lot is a lot and I was also diagnosed with depression and anxiety after that I moved so I had to um go to another therapist um and I was with that therapist for one year and you know I I wasn't getting anywhere um great therapist just um from 2017 2019 I had two therapists, um, but they were both through Kaiser. Um, Kaiser is not great. Um, unfortunately, it's not so much the therapist as much as it is the system. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, during those two times, two therapists, sorry, um, I found myself like just, oh yeah, everything's great. Everything's great. Kind of just like making sure I didn't sound unwell. But there was so much more. And then so a series of events occurred from 2019 to 2020 that kind of forced me into um, getting, you know, like real help. And I don't mean real as in like the others weren't real, but more so just saying like I had to get it together. (laughs) And I'm very thankful for for having been in a position where I could get um that intensive help when I say intensive I mean I just had to delve through like the swampy areas of my heart um and so I had a a a therapist that I went to like like what was it like like three to four times a month and then every so like after some time like once a month two times a month and then one time a month until I was released and I say released that sounds funny but I don't know what other word to use and with this therapist we were able to like it was like I want to mention that it was very culturally based like she was very into like um just like me talking about anything and everything being able to say things in Spanish and English being able to like light a candle if I felt like I needed to I could talk about my dreams I could talk about everything because that's another thing about me like I learned through my dreams like people come to me in dreams and and so I was able to do that without judgment here so um with this therapist I was able to overcome a lot of um a lot of um trauma and be able to have all the tools I needed to like go forward with life and you know I mentioned to her I'm like you know I'm doing so well thank you um but I have I'm still a mess (laughs) And um, I was watching a lot of TikToks at this time. And I just mentioned, like, you know, like, I've been on um, women with ADHD TikTok. And um, I think that's me. <laughs> and so she helped me through it. She said, I mean, or the therapist, it was like, well, I'm not, a, I, I, I'm not an expert in this. Um, but, like, let's, let's talk about it. You know, I talked about it with her, with the therapist and... Um, I actually was able to like get the confidence I needed to call <clears throat> to call Kaiser and and get a diagnosis. Um this was early 2021. I called they called me back this is Kaiser. Um I didn't answer cuz I was working or something and then I called back. They didn't call back. Some months later this was like last week I want to say um Maybe like the the first week of July, like four days in, I checked my bank account. I had overdrafted, like I spent too much money. I'm just like, damn, like this is always happening to me. I'm so tired of it. And since I just bought a house, like like I just I don't want to be struggling financially. And it's not even that I that I struggle financially, it's just I struggle with financial bad habits. A very impulsive spending, very, very, um, like, spending money on hobbies that I start and leave within seconds, like, it's a lot, so I was like, okay, you know what, I don't care, let me just call right now that I have that <laughs> adrenaline, and yeah, I call, and, um, they're like, oh, you know what, your, your psychiatrist is available tomorrow, and I'm like, damn it, but I'm like, okay, let's do it. 
So the day of the diagnosis comes, um, I, the, like the morning of, I get, um, I look up the adult um, ADHD DSM questionnaire. And, you know, it talks about, like, carelessness, difficulty, sustaining attention, organization, doesn't listen, no follow-through, easily distractible, right? And, yeah, so I filled it out beforehand. Um, It took me such a long time because, of course, I get distracted. Uh, I jumped around, of course, because I get distracted. And I filled it up, like, I filled it up, like, I had examples for everything, And most of my self-assessed answers were, like, it goes from non, mild, moderate, and severe. And I was between moderate and severe, like, most of the time. And the things that were mild had been because I learned to, um, I learned by seeing other people what to, or what, you know, I I learned from my mistakes, like, a lot. Um, But, yeah, and, and some of this stuff, like, a lot of the stuff, like, is like cultural like like you have to do like so i'll talk about that next week so just disregard that but yeah so i did a whole assessment by myself and then so i was ready to talk about it with my um, psychiatrist and you know he first he was like you know like what's the reason and i said well i've been basically what i told you about having gone through um the intensive therapy and assessing my trauma but you know I'm still I'm still me siento wasada dog, um but uh yeah so that's that's basically what I told him and and then he mentioned like well like during your childhood like in school did you ever have any issues and like I did I I know that I was put in like programs after school programs um one on ones um it's like one thing for like I think twice it was for one time it was for writing in the, like the third grade um second time I I was put into like a, a focus um after school focus thing um was for reading like in the fourth grade like I could read I just didn't want to um I love reading and I love reading now but it just I just like one sentence I couldn't get over like one sentence and, you know, if it came to be that I actually had a college um, reading level, it's just um, couldn't do it. <laughs> and then I know that I was tested before for a learning disability, but they were just like, no, she's she's super smart. She just needs to ask questions and she just needs to, um, you know, pay attention. Um, but yeah, they they just assumed I was very shy and... I just remember, like, I would be in class and I would just be like, wow, those clouds are beautiful. Or, wow, what would happen if... And just, like, always being in my brain and always just, like, thinking of beautiful, fantastic things and and just hearing snippets of of, of the class. And, and so when they would tell me, like, well, just ask more questions during progress reports. Like, ask questions. Like, don't be afraid. Because I guess it's still, right? Plus, like, like little girls are told to, like, sit still, be quiet, and things like that. So, of course, like, I'm going to be in my brain. Um, yeah. And so, so when they would say, like, oh, just ask questions, like, what questions? Like, I don't even know what, what you're talking about. Or, or, you know, things like that. So that was me as a child. Like, I was, I was like, growing up, I became more impulsive, like, Of course, not crossing people's boundaries, like, not, like, poking them and things like that, but, like, but, like, impulsive, um, in the sense, like, oh, I want it, I got it, I'm gonna buy it, like, just, like, what, what is socially acceptable, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it impulsively, and, you know, having little piles everywhere as an adult, um, having piles of dirty clothes, having piles of clean clothes, having clothes sit there for, like, a month straight dishes a month straight um just very disorganized and despite like wanting to be organized I couldn't do it so that's that so I could go into too many examples and whatnot but I don't want this to get too long 
but but my next steps for for um for me um I'm supposed to start medication. I was supposed to start it this Monday, but of course I forgot to go pick up the medication. So I'll be doing that next Monday. I'll probably pick it up this week. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but I just wanted to say like um ADHD is very real and it's very underdiagnosed with women. And I feel like a lot of that is because of like patriarchal reason, cultural reasons assumptions tropes stigmas and the fear of the medical system that's you know has to do a lot with like racial history and cultural context and and and, and you know stuff like that and um and also like like sometimes we just like we just are in denial um but i want to talk about that next wednesday and i think um that's 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 what i'm going to leave it to next week yeah um, but I just wanted to let you all know that, like, Mosada Wednesday is on for as long as I can sustain my attention on it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all for today. Um, I hope that my rambling helps somebody or somebody um, that knows somebody that may have ADHD. And I'll go ahead and leave some resources. Um, but, you know, you could always just go on ADHD TikTok because that's usually what I did like oh who cares about Mayo Clinic like let me just go on TikTok real quick anyways have a good rest of your day bye